Now let's let us look at the second example. Ammonium ion is a common ion that you guys uh, should know in chemistry. So we are going to see how does this ammonium ion is formed. And after we have formed this ammonium ion, we would like to see whether uh, there is any formation of dative bond or not. So before we can start the formation of the ammonium ion, first thing that we have to do, we need to know this ammonium ion derived from what kind of uh, ion and molecule. As far as we know, ammonium ion is formed in between ammonia molecule as well as one hydrogen ion. So the first task that I want you all to do is to draw out the Lewis structure of ammonia. What is the chemical formula for ammonia? The chemical formula for ammonia is NH3. So I would like to see students drawing out the ammonia structure, sorry, to draw out the ammonia um, Lewis structure before we moving on to the formation of dative bond in the ammonium ion. Well, as far as you can see here, this is the Lewis structure of ammonia, NH3. Ammonia is a simple covalent compound. May I know how many covalent bond is formed in this ammonia molecule? The answer is 3. How, do, how does this covalent, compa, uh, covalent bond is formed in ammonia? Covalent bond is formed in ammonia through the sharing of electrons between non-metal atoms. Now let us look at the first hydrogen atom. The first hydrogen atom share out one electron with the nitrogen atom and in the same time, nitrogen atom will share out one electron with the hydrogen atom. When you are able to observe one pair of electrons and these electrons are from different color, indicates these electrons are shared among two different non-metal atoms. When you are able to observe one pair of electrons, therefore, one single covalent is formed. Similarly happen to your second hydrogen atom and your third hydrogen atom. So we can see there are three single covalent bonds formed in this ammonia molecule. What about the Lewis structure of hydrogen ion? Well, in our hydrogen ion, hydrogen ion is a cap ion with a charge of positively 1. This hydrogen ion is formed because hydrogen atom release its only one valence electron permanently. Therefore, it will form into a cat ion. And when you look at the Lewis structure of the hydrogen ion, you will see that there will be no electron in it. Indicates when hydrogen form into hydrogen ion, its valence electron shell is empty. This hydrogen ion is able to share electron to receive sharing of electron from other compound in order for this hydrogen ion to achieve the most stable duplet electron arrangement. So therefore, this hydrogen ion will approach ammonia molecule, asking the ammonia molecule, hey guys. Can I form a doublet electron arrangement with you? Well, how does this ammonia molecule reply? What do you think? Ammonia molecule will say, Oh, no problem. You are still invited. You are still able to form a compound with us. Because inside the ammonia molecule, nitrogen atom in the ammonia molecule is having an extra lone pair. And where is the lone pair?
Well, this is the location of the lone pair belongs to the nitrogen atom in ammonia molecule. So this ammonia molecule welcoming the hydrogen ion to form a compound with them. So after they welcome the existence, the presence of the hydrogen ion, how do they look like? Well, let's look at the end product. This is how ammonium ion look like. First of all, we will see that from the ammonia molecule itself, we still have three hydrogen atom. Each of these three hydrogen atom will share out one of its valence electron with the nitrogen atom. And in the same time, nitrogen atom will share out one of the one of its valence electron to the hydrogen atom in order to form three single covalent bond. After that, when this hydrogen ion come approach, this is the hydrogen ion. This hydrogen ion will receive the sharing of two electrons directly from the nitrogen atom itself. And these two electrons that share out by our nitrogen is the lone pair. Even though our nitrogen share out its lone pair, however, it doesn't affect the octet electron arrangement of the nitrogen atom in the whole structure. Nitrogen atom still remain octet. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are still 8 valence electrons around nitrogen atom. So therefore, nitrogen atom achieve the most stable octet electron arrangement. When we look at this hydrogen ion, initially, it has no valence electron in its valence electron shell. However, when they share electron with ammonia molecule, it has achieved the most stable doublet electron arrangement. Now let us look at the compound itself. How many types of chemical bond present in this compound? When we look at the final product, we are able to see there are actually two types of chemical bond present in the final compound. The first one is a covalent bond. How do we identify covalent bond? In my drawing, covalent bond is formed in between two different colors of valence electron. So therefore, we have covalent compound number one, sorry, covalent bond number one, covalent bond number two, and covalent bond number three. So they are all together three covalent bond present in this ammonium ion. And what about our dative bond? Dative bond is formed when an atom with lone pair share its lone pair to the ion or an atom. In here, the lone pair is represented by two color, uh, by two electrons of the same color, which is here. So this lone pair from nitrogen atom shared to the hydrogen ion. So because of that, we are able to see one dative bond in ammonium ion.